This is Jack Rabbit, and actually, he's trying not to bump into you. He's bristling with sensors and trying to learn how the people around him walk about, what social conventions they follow, whether they group together, whether they get out of your way or not. The hat and tie are there, apparently, to show that he's polite. The whole look, I have to say, is a little too Westworld for me, but the aim, according to his master, is to create an algorithm which can help a robot learn how to move through pedestrian environments and how to behave in different parts of the world. And this knowledge um, is uh, quite valuable. We, we often refer to it as a socially aware AI. Um, having an artificial intelligence that is socially aware of the surrounding um, or um, going beyond in, uh, IQ but emotional uh, uh, intelligence and um, so that's our goal. So how is this different from self-driving cars? So in self-driving car you have uh, well-defined rules um, but in um, social crowd um, you have unwritten rules. Um, we human uh, interact with each other based on social conventions, based on etiquette. We're not even aware of all these rules. Um, um, we, nobody has really um, seen it and started to write them. And we want to, uh, to see if a machine can learn all these rules by observation. Have you found people interact differently in different parts of the world? Yes, they do. We believe that every country, every culture has its own uh, behavior. And that's why we decided to develop an algorithm that can learn on the fly, that can learn from the observation how uh, humans interact with each other and uh, simulate them and reproduce it. Yet, yeah, just to be clear, Jack isn't learning how to move. He's learning how to learn how to move. The resulting algorithm can then be used by any bot to learn the social conventions of the place it finds itself in at the time, be it an Asian market, a European hotel or an American city.